right. A little bit of a change of a format today. Today I'm going to stick to one subject. I'm going to keep it clean, focused, talk about when you focus on things, you get what you need. So today's going to be focused on how do I get everything done in one day? And all those things, how do you start a school when you only have so much time in the day? Time is important to me, but not as important as my own self-care or my family. But when you want to start something or you want to do something big, it's going to take some time and commitment. So I had to really figure out how to maximize my day without killing myself, without missing out on some opportunities with my son. And being a single family, single parent, I had to really be tight with my time and I couldn't just give my time away to anything and everyone. So I'm gonna show a little bit about my schedule before when I was building the school and you'll see why when I show you the schedule and how I was able to maybe accomplish this in eight months and then I'll show you the schedule of where I'm at today a little bit more relaxed around the time and the amount of work but first I need some materials and what better place to start that with but being at the school And a cutting board, even though I was scared to use this as a kid. Try to envision this is 24 hours in a day. Each slot is an hour, and we have 24 slots for the day. Each one of these colors represents an hour of something that I'm doing. Uh, silver is the work hours. My green is my family time and red is my learning and growth time, and then blue is sleep time. So when I first started the school, I was doing a ton of work. So I started right away at 9.30 a.m., and I went right through till 3.30 p.m. And why 9.30 to 3.30? Because 9.30 is when I dropped off my son at school, and 3.30 is when I picked him up. Then, after picking him up, I would spend some valuable family time. And we would spend about three hours together. So being a single dad, spending those three hours can be super valuable, helpful for him, but also for myself, because I want to always be able to reconnect with my son. And then we would get into some learning time. So I spent about an hour at learning. So he would go off and do something on his own. So after that, then I would get back into some family time. I have about an hour. So right now we're about 7.30 to 8.30 at night. So that is about time for his bedtime. He starts to do his own routine. And so I can get into doing some family time, reading, talking, hanging out. Then after that, I would spend another two hours doing work again. So that's 8.30 to 10.30 of more work time. I'd have to take a break and I would add some more learning into that because my brain needed a break, my thinking needed a break, and I needed to take some input in about something that was new or bigger or better. After that, I would go back to work. So I went from work back to work at 11.30, 12.30, 30, all the way till 2.30 in the morning and I was still doing answering emails that's the time I was answering emails that's the time it was me replying out me checking uh, things and making sure everything was on board then I would get some time for sleep and I wouldn't recommend this for any length of time but I would spend about five hours sleeping now not what I would recommend doing because five hours of sleep you can only sustain that for a very short period of time but when you have to do something you have to do something so five hours and then i was back onto red 
for a little bit of learning in the morning. And this learning actually included more gratitude, more thinking about the circles of my friends and my family, all the way out to uh, the people I was working with and the design crews and uh, people outside of that, the sponsors and the helpers and the supporters and volunteers. And so I was trying to be grateful all the way through the process. Every morning I would spend time doing that. And then in the morning from about 8.30 to 9.30, I would spend some time with my son getting him ready for school and driving him there. So a recap, we do the work, some family and learning time, back to work, a little bit of sleep, and open up my day for gratitude and family. Now what I've shifted is I've taken out these work hours, replaced it with sleep to have a more regular sleep schedule. It gives me more vitality, more creativity, and I'm able to manage my day a lot better.